How's it going guys? Happy Friday. The exam is done. I just did it. It took me two and a half hours this morning, but uh, it is done. So my brain is actually fried. So disclaimer, if I make a stupid mistake or a stupid move in today's video, I am blaming my brain being fried from my two and a half hour exam. Okay, that's my that's my excuse and none of you can say I am wrong. Okay, I'm the ruler here. This is my dictatorship, my kingdom. Actually, technically, it's my dog's kingdom. Sky is the true king. But then, it is still my kingdom, okay? We are back on NASCAR Thunder 2003. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Three episodes left, right? Or are we going to make the final episode an episode by itself? No, no, three episodes left, most likely. I don't know. We'll decide. Uh, either three, maybe four, maybe two. No, not two. It's either three or it's four. But most likely three. Uh, and, and maybe the second one will be have three races. I don't know. Uh, but we are in it to win it. A championship no matter what happens. This is the final season. Uh, even if I don't win the championship, I've already essentially planned that this is the, the uh, final season. 84 point lead. Guys, here's the deal. If we get this above 100 points, I think we win the championship. At the end of today's video, if we get it above 100 points... I am confident in the last four races of the season that we can maintain the 100 point gap. Uh, the races that we have left. Uh, hopefully we can win these two, Lowe's and Martinsville. If we win both, we have an over, oh, over a 100 point lead no matter what Dale Jarrett does. Atlanta, North Carolina, Phoenix, and Homestead are the four races that uh, I don't think we'll do very well. I think Phoenix might be the sleeper where we actually might do well. Last time we were at Phoenix, I wrecked. So yeah. But we were running well. Uh, Atlanta is not very good for us. North Carolina is not very good for us. And Homestead is probably our second worst racetrack behind uh, New Hampshire because it's just the flat nature and all that. It just uh, doesn't soothe well with us. But uh, 100 points is what we're looking for, guys. That is the, the magic number. We have 30 poles, so we just need to get on pole six more times to do the beautiful achievement of 36 for 36 poles. Got 12 wins in the season. Average finish is 7.7. .7. Dale Jarrett has a little bit better average finish. Uh, and let's go to team management to see what we're going to be doing here. R&D is done, right? Yes, it is. Uh, so, guys, no more R&D because, obviously, there is nothing to do that can be done in a quick enough time. So, that is it for R&D. It is uh, essentially retired. Um, the garage. We're going to go ahead and build a new engine um, just for the sake of it because why not uh, and then we're going to go ahead and overhaul one of the used engines we're going to go ahead and overhaul engine number 17 or it's going to be 18 one of the two it's going to be 17 that's what we're going to overhaul so let's get that overhauled uh, what are we going to do in the chassis the chassis we have to build a new one because we're going to have better drafting up to 72 don't really know if that makes really any difference but Apparently, it makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, and then we can't do anything else in the chassis. So we head off to build a new car. And it's going to be engine 19. And chassis... Mm, these are exactly the same. So we're going to go chassis 20. Uh, that is what we're going to use for... What's the race? Lowe's. I always have a brain fart before knowing what, what race we go to. All right, guys. So that is it. Wait, check the team. We have new team members. I just want to see if they're happy. 83 happiness. That means everyone's doing well. You guys are all doing well above 70. Okay, that's good. Good job, guys. And with that, I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon supporters who are always supporting the channel. Cannot stress this enough. You guys are the absolute best. You guys are why I am able to do this as much as I can. Upload every day and all that. It's all because of you guys. Uh, so thank you so much now let's get to it guys two wins two wins that's what we need two wins last time in this race last season we finished 14th due to a bad pit stop and some shenanigans so focus on the win that's all we gotta do lap one was p6 but that's just because we didn't have a lot of straight line speed uh after the start finish line lap two should be good enough i know we slid up there a little bit but we'll be half a second faster on this lap and it will be Pole position with a 29-282. I did not see uh, where Jarrett qualified because I did not pause, so I don't know where he is. Hopefully, he's nowhere near. Let's go to the call by MRN. It's not a Patreon member this time. Sorry, guys, because I had an exam, obviously, so 
Let's go. Joe Moore and Barney Hall coming to you live from the Mecca of Motorsports, Lowe's Motor Speedway, for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the UAW GM Quality 500. Barney, this is a hometown crowd for a lot of these drivers. The track was the first one to focus on spectator comfort, and it shows. This place always draws an enormous crowd. Most of the team shops are located in this area, which give it that hometown feel. We're in for some great racing here at Lowe's. The Nikon car seems to always finish in the top 10. It's amazing, isn't it? This guy is finishing in the top 10 week in and week out. That makes him hard to beat at the end of the year. In 1999, Tony Stewart won the Rookie of the Year award with one of the finest first seasons in NASCAR history. Three wins, two poles, and a fourth place points finish. That's a tough act to follow for any driver, and I'll bet it'll be a long time before another rookie has a coming out party that big. Things are not going well this year for Frank Kimmel. And a good finish would go a long way in boosting that team's morale. I guarantee it would make a whole lot easier to come to these racetracks. Dale Jarrett is in sixth. You can see him in the mirror right there. So uh, we know what we got to do. Win this race, he's probably going to finish second because we have who is in the top five? We got T. Sullivan, Andretti. Uh, we got Newman, Walter. There's Earnhardt, so that's good. But uh, other than that, Mark Warren, Gordon, Tony Stewart. Yeah, they're not. They're not near the front, so uh, let's just hope and pray that, uh, you know, some of these fantasy drivers and slower drivers can hold up Jarrett just a little bit and maybe get uh, get him backwards a little bit. We have to focus on staying in the lead uh, because we got a terrible start there, but we're fine. Okay, all good? Everything? Oh, oh, nope, nope, not good, not good. That's bad. Okay, hold on. We definitely have a faster car than, than Bobby Labonte, so I'll get that lead back. That's that's my mistake. One second, please. One second. Hold momentarily. And we're going to get the lead back right here in turn one. Nice and easy. Don't slide the car. Beautiful scenes. Bobby, give me the lead. I'm your Pontiac teammate. I'm going for a championship. Thank you very much. Okay, the fantasy cars did not do anything. <laughs> Dale Jarrett is right here, and he is fast. I think that's Dale and her junior in fourth. Yes, it is. He is fast, so... It just seems like at the end of this season, it's just getting harder and harder to to win races. Like, we have the speed to do it, but the problem is our competition is the hardest competition in the game. There's no one faster than Dale Jarrett and Dale Earnhardt Jr. in this game. And Dale Jarrett is on the most ridiculous streak I've seen since Sterling Marlin. We have to make sure we don't let him lead a lap. Okay. All right, we're going to play it like that, huh? That That's how we're going to race. That's how we're going to race. All right. Understood. Understood. Now, we're being completely objective here. That is kind of my fault, right? Because I was trying to come down on him a little bit. So, yes, that is objectively my fault. But we don't do objective here, okay, ladies and gentlemen? We all hate Dale Jarrett. Do you understand? This is not like some sort of a democracy where you can like Dale Jarrett. No, we all hate him. All right? And so he just put us in the wall, and now it's fair game. Am I probably going to see him for the rest of this race? Yeah, probably not, to be honest, because he is so fast and we have right rear damage now. So uh, we might not see him. He's going to lead the most laps, and eventually we're going to lose points out of this race, which I was not expecting, because this twat is just on some... Hey, hey, oi, oi, I am your Pontiac teammate, guys. Why, why do we why do we struggle more in the day lows race? Well, at night, we're unbeatable, but in the day race, the car just doesn't go? Is, is the, what, what is going on here? If I can keep the gap within two seconds, is this two se it's 2.2. If I can cut that down to two seconds, I can short pit and get in front of him. I know I can. But uh, problem is, he's going to be able to try to keep the gap down. I just don't think we... He's the fastest car in the field. I just don't think we can. We'll see on this lap if it's 2.1 or something. But uh, I'm, I'm pushing this thing hard, and it's sliding a little bit, which is not ideal. So uh, we'll see. It doesn't look like I closed the gap at all. It looks like it extended. It's probably 2.3, 2.4 now. Uh, yeah, 2.4. So we're losing two tenths a lap. That was a pretty good lap. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what we can do, guys. It's kind of like, I don't know. He put us in the wall and he's escaping. I mean, I'll, I'll get him back later. 
you know, we'll, there's still five races to go. Don't worry about it. We'll get them. The main goal now, 2.6. Yep, we're losing two tenths a lap. Uh, the main goal now is to finish second. So essentially, we have to forget what Jared's doing. We did a lead a lap, so he's uh, he's only gonna get five extra bonus points because he's not gonna get ten. We, he's gonna get five since he's gonna lead the most laps, but we already led a lap, so we already got those five bonus points. So essentially, if he wins and we finish second, then he's only gonna gain ten points on us, which is gonna take take it down to a 74 point gap. I can extend that back up at Martinsville. Obviously, it's not the ideal situation because we wanted to extend the gap here, but. It is the it is the situation. We just got to deal with it. So, uh, and he will be put in the wall in a future race. We know that. We're gonna make this equal. Uh, so let's just make sure that we finish second. So forget Dale Jarrett. We're racing Tony Stewart, Ricky Rod, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I want to short pit just a little bit, but uh, you know how the AI are. They like to short pit too. So I'm gonna try to pick that lap where no one comes in, and that's when I'm gonna pit. So that way we got a clean pit road and we don't run on old tires. That way I can stay in front of these guys here. 3.1 to Dale, Dale Jarrett. There might be lap traffic that plays a part here later on too. So let's not let's not f totally you know think Jarrett's out of the mix here. Lap traffic will play a part. It always does here at the Lowe's races. Dale Jarrett might be pitting. I, I, he took a weird line into three. And there's the spotter or crew chief on my radio. And he says Dale Jarrett is pitting. So... He pits pretty early. Lap 15 is pretty early. Uh, I wanted to pit on lap 16, which would be this lap, but it looks like two. So essentially, we got to go. I'm hoping no one pits this lap, actually. If no one pits this lap, I can pit lap 17, and it'll work. Pit road's way too busy at the moment, so we have to go one more lap. That was a very early stop for, for Dale Jarrett. Uh, we have to go one more lap, and then we will pit, uh, and hopefully... You know, we won't lose a spot because I'm going to be able to merge onto the track. So it doesn't look like any of these guys pitted here. One person pitted back there, but pit road won't be that busy, I think, this time by. So Lewis, books, 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 books. Here is Dale Jarrett. And actually, I have an idea. I'm going to just quickly... There we go. That's payback. That's my payback, guys. I told you I was going to get payback on him. There you go. Knocked him back a little bit. And now we're going to come down pit road. Bucks, books, loose. Bucks, books, books. Bucks, books, books. Don't, don't put me in the wall, Dale Jarrett. You're going you to do that. You're going to mess with the consequences. I got to be careful here entering pit road. I got to let Junior go. All right. So we're going to knock We can't fix the damage, guys. Uh, we're not going to get held up too much, I hope. Elliot Sadler. No. There comes Park. All right. So, yeah, we got held up a good amount. That's unfortunate. Oh, no, no, no. What is this? Oh my god. There's only like six cars on pit road. And I'm I somehow get held up to that extent. Okay. Alright, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. Appreciate that. So now we're really screwed. Um like really screwed. We're not finishing second. Uh, that we're not finishing second, guys. 13. Uh here comes the field. 14, 16, 17. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can I can I pull up? Nope, can't. Can I? I gotta got pull up. 19. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful scenes. Thank you, game. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Really, right, right when I needed it to actually not happen, and I actually pick a lap where pit road shouldn't be busy, you do that nonsense to me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Seriously. I seriously appreciate that. All right, let's see where we cycle out. It's going to be uh, 15th, essentially. We're, we're in the top 15. We might get around Harvick here. That's going to put us in 14th. So, yeah, we are way back. Just like last season. This is exactly what happened last season. Not not different circumstances, but, like, I don't understand this, man. I, I don't. <laughs> Why is this day Lowe's race such a, a, a nuisance to us? Why is it so bad? Is Jarrett still in the lead? Yes, he is. Dale Jarrett is still in the lead. Um, well, I mean, this this is not good. We're losing our entire points lead at the moment right now. So, yeah. I'm not happy at, at all at the moment. All right, we're going to get around Ward Burton, and then there's the 17 of Kenseth, and that's basically all we might get unless we can catch that pack of five up there. Oh, we're going to have to push really hard to catch them, though. 12th. Jared's still leading. Yay, yay. Okay, well, this has gotten a lot, a lot bleaker, guys. I, I, I didn't think this would happen. At this moment, we are... 84, 74, uh, I'm trying to do math in my head. We have around, I think, a 20-point lead, somewhere around there. Maybe maybe a little more, 30. 
I can't, I can't really figure because the point system is kind of weird when it come, when you get further back. Is it five points per position? Four points per position? It's kind of weird back there. So, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. I think we have like a thirty to forty point lead right now. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe a little bit more. But somewhere around that gap. So uh, we really need to. It's going to make Martinsville incredibly important. Wow. Um, Dale Jarrett is catching lap traffic though. So there's still eight laps to go. This isn't over. There we go. Around Matt Kenseth. We got a fast car. It's Bobby Labonte and Jeff Gordon up there next. I'm just hoping that lap traffic just goes really slow and just, you know, somehow we can we can get up a little bit closer. Or a caution. That'd be great. A caution would be fantastic. Oh, Gordon. Gordon. He's in the wall or something. What the heck happened here? Okay, that's going to be another spot if we can get to him. It's not guaranteed yet. He's still about a second ahead. Okay, now we got to chase down that 24 car. Come on. Blown engine, please be Dale Jarrett. Nope, it's Terry Labonte. It's not a spot. Who cares? We keep moving. Six to go. Uh, three laps to go. We got. We we can't gain any more spots, guys. We just gotta hang on. Here's Kevin Harvick. I'm not letting him pass me. So we're gonna finish 11th. Jarrett's gonna win. Yep, he's in the lead. So he's gonna be he's gonna be the winner. And Harvick, you. Oh no, my car just wants to slide right up, and I can't do anything. Uh. Uh, let me see if I can get the spot back. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it back. One and two, I'm a little bit better. I just got to hit him. I got to hit him in three and four if I can maintain in one and two. The car is sliding. E come on. Maintain, maintain, maintain. Nope. It's gone. Eh, well, actually, it might not be gone. Hold on. Hold on. This, th these five points might matter. So wait one second. Nope. I can't get to him. All right. Might as well just lock it up. There we go. Do some Tokyo Drift. All right. So it's going to be P12, guys. Uh, hmm. Well, we'll see what the points lead's like after this. This is uh, not what was planned, obviously. <sighs> I'm not even, like, super angry. I'm just... Nice. We kind of did what we were supposed to do. Pit road wasn't busy, and we just got screwed. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. We just got screwed. It's worse than a mistake on, on the, the crew. Getting held up like that is genuine. And that's the worst we've ever been held up. That is by far the worst. That was We lost so many, so much time there. So... Off to Martinsville. Remember, Martinsville has a pit glitch. So the only hope that we have really is that Dale Jarrett gets really affected by that. And um, or first of all, he just doesn't qualify well. That's what we need. Uh, and yeah, we'll we'll head off to Martinsville, and we gotta win. That's a must win now. It's 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 way too tight. Must win. Must win situation. All right, points gap, 31. I'll take it. I'll take it. 31 point gap. Uh, we need to get that up. We need to get it up as soon as possible. Martinsville. This is our last really, really good track, and it is our last chance of Jarrett getting screwed uh, because obviously the, the pick glitch is a big thing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and overhaul the chassis. Let's overhaul chassis number 20. Uh, get that up there. Beautiful scenes. Uh, and we are going to run whatever we got. Um, well, I gotta think. I have to think about uh, Atlanta. This engine will be ready, so we're, we're gonna take engine number 16, chassis. Uh, we're gonna take. They're both the same. All right. So chassis 21. That's where. And then we're gonna use 22 at Atlanta because that's gonna be a very important race where we most likely will struggle, but that's just what we gotta do. Can I just please pick my car that I wanna use? 16, there we go. All right, let's do this, guys. Martinsville, here we go. Please, please, gaming gods, for the love of God, please. I, I don't know what kind of run Dale Jarrett's on, how many top two finishes he's had recently, but just make him qualify 20th. C can we get that just once, please? That's all I ask. Now that's a good lap one, should be good enough. And it is perfect. And we're going to stop right there. Dale Jarrett is not in the top five. So that's good scene. Beautiful, beautiful scenes. All right. No, no fooling around, guys. 31 point lead. We need to get that as high as possible. Let's go to the race. Welcome once again to Martinsville, Virginia. MRN is proud to present live coverage of today's Martinsville 500. Barney, these pit crews will be busy all race long. Martinsville is known for great fender-to-fender -fender racing. Drivers work the brakes hard at this racetrack. It's like two drag strips with short turns. The wear and tear these cars take from the track is bad enough. Then add in some good old beating and banging with other cars. Now that's stock car racing, baby. 
the Nikon car is our NASCAR Winston Cup points leader coming into this race. You know, I'll tell you, consistency is the key to the NASCAR Winston Cup championship. If he can remain focused on that, he has a good shot at winning. An unusual back-of-the-pack start for Josh Nealon. Yeah, he's definitely not used to having to pick through traffic so early in a race. This could make it an exciting race for him, or it could be disastrous. I've you never even never heard of this guy. What do you mean he's rare? Oh, look, it's Dale Jarrett. Did you see him? He's right really there. Yes, yeah, Dale Jarrett is starting 28th. Let's, let's go. Beautiful scenes. Thank you, game. Thank you. Fine. You're going to screw me. At least screw him. Let's make this thing fair. Jesus. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. For the land of the free and screw Dale Jarrett and UPS. Everyone use FedEx. Never use UPS. We all are Denny Hamlin fans here, all right? He's never won a championship, but we care about Denny Hamlin, okay? That is the rival to Dale Jarrett, and we support any rival to Dale Jarrett. Let's go do this, lads. 28th starting position for Dale Jarrett, baby. If he finishes in the top five, I'm going to absolutely break my monitor. Let's go. One job and one job. Old. That, that is the worst starting position I've ever seen for him. Seriously, I've, I've never seen anything worse than that. That's beautiful. Okay, let's get the job done. Nice and easy. Uh, not going to care about Kyle Petty getting run like that because we're going to get the run off the corner. I just don't want any damage, and I want to lead the most laps, and I want to win the race, and we'll worry about everything else afterwards. That's no damage, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay. And we move, guys. See you later. I'll see you guys during the pit stops. All right, lads. Ten laps in. We got a massive lead, and, uh, well, it's actually not too big. Uh, it's only uh, 2.3 seconds isn't massive, I would say, but uh, it's a good good lead. Uh, let's go check on Dale Jarrett. All right, so we're going to go check on him, see where he is. He is running in, wow, he is, woohoo, 27th place. He's only made up one spot. Beautiful scenes. Oh, I got, nah, man, I got a little scrape my right side now. All right, we're fine, though. We're all good, guys. All right, so 27th place for Dale Jarrett. That is wonderful. Let's go Let's go put him a lap down. He's actually, he shouldn't really be that far ahead of us right now. <laughs> I'd love to put Dale Jarrett a lap down. All right, lap traffic, nice and smooth. No, uh, no risks. We got a plentiful, beautiful gap. That should extend after pit stops because of the, the pick glitch. So this is wonderful. Let's just relax. I'm trying to see Dale Jarrett. I don't see him anywhere, so he's not in front of us, at least. Uh, to, to the eyesight, I can't see him. Uh, yeah, I don't see him. I, I don't see a brown UPS car anywhere. So we move nice and easy, one at a time. Not making any contact with anyone. Just nice and easy. Get the job done. I'm not, See, I'm not going to dive bomb. Oh, well. Okay, I, just, I broke kind of early there, to be honest. And uh, never mind, I broke too late. I'm stupid. Yeah. Did I even do well in that exam if I'm that stupid? Yeah, probably not. This is wonderful. Oh, we're such a rhythm. I love Martinsville. I remember our first few races of this track. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> that was a bad experience. But ever since uh, we got the shifting down, ever since we got the chassis upgraded, it has been beautiful scenes from here on out. That is a weird pass that I just made on Ryan Newman. But I'll, uh, I'll take it. Uh, is Dale Jarrett anywhere? No, he must have been getting, he must be gaining spots because I don't see him. No, wait, I do, I do, I do. I see him, I see him. Uh, sorry, Jamie Mc, or, uh, Cheryl King, whoever you are, I don't even know. Uh, you see Sterling Marlin up there, right, right in front of Casey Kane. Dale Jarrett's in front of him, right there. And Jimmy Johnson, he's up there. Sterling Marlin, Jimmy Johnson, Dale Jarrett, about four cars ahead of us. That is where he is. I have right front damage, but it's fine. It's not going to affect the car. We're... We're fast, so it's all good. Some leaders are pitting. That's good news, because you guys are going to pit multiple times. There goes Andretti. We are staying out, guys, as long as possible, and I want to lap Dale Jarrett, so I'm going to go after him. My crew chief just said, talk to me. No, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to anyone. Look at this. Whoa. Look at this little three-wide move that we got to pull off here. Oh, boy. What is going on here? Uh, sorry, Jeremy Mayfield. I didn't know what Greg Biffle was doing. There are cars coming in and out of pit road who aren't even pitting. It's, it's all confusing here. Why aren't he Sterling Marlin? Sterling Marlin, what has happened to you, my friend? Like, where did that early season form go? My right front tire is red. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, here comes Dale Jarrett. He's pitting, so we're going to continue to stay out. Uh, and if a caution com com comes out right now, I'll be the happiest man on the planet. So, it's that simple. Uh, stay out until we can't stay out any longer. We don't want to get involved in any of this pit nonsense mess. All right, it looks like pit stops are pretty much done. I'm going to pit this time by books, books, loose. 
books, books, books. The car actually doesn't even turn anymore because the tires are so red. So you can see we're kind of slow now compared with everyone on fresh tires. And never mind, people are pitting. People are pitting again. Never mind, never mind. We stay out, we stay out, stay out. Look. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, all right. Listen, you do that one more time. I'm going to absolutely level the living crap out of you, Jeremy Mayfield, all right? Just don't, don't, don't do that again. Um, okay, I got to pit. Fuel tank's almost empty, so I, I got to come down pit road. Here we come. Nice and easy, 70 miles per hour. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and repair the damage, guys, uh, just because I don't want any craziness to happen. We have enough of a lead, so don't worry about that. And never mind, I'm going to take damage off because we're getting held up in pit road again. So I take that back. Please don't come out of pit stop. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Just stop it, please. Please let me just come into my pit stall, get a goddamn pit stop, and just go on my business. Why can't I do that? Why can't I do that? Pit crew, no mistakes, please. Are we all good? Okay, it's a little bit slow, but whatever. 16.2. Go! Holy crap. <sighs> all right, wh what is going on now? What's the race situation? What is the race situation? We are in P6. I'm not going to look at the race situation until this all settles out a little bit because we just got to go. Well, it is very clear that the leader has definitely not pitted yet. Um, who is the leader? It's Labani, and Dale Jarrett is in third. Okay, so that's weird. Uh, there's no way Dale Jarrett can be running third, so he definitely has to come down pit road again. The leader has to come down pit road again, and uh, we'll see how this all plays out. We should still be in the lead. I had no idea who we're racing. Or, you know, I had no idea who was second, so we're kind of just waiting. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> all right, there goes Jarrett down pit road again. Thank you very much. I hope you go three laps down, you little inconsiderate prick. Uh, and we move. Is that Jeremy Mayfield in front of us? It is. I cannot retaliate. We cannot do anything. Must stay calm. Must not retaliate. We're in P3, and the leader is still not pitted yet. But we are on the lead lap, so it's no worries. If a caution does come out, no worries. We're all good. Ah, you stupid prick. Yeah, you little twat. I hate you. All right, we move. Wait, wait. Who's who's below me? Yee. Okay. All right. Can I just get in some clean air, please? Thank you very much. All right, we're back in the lead, ladies and gents. There we go. All right, who's in second? Anyone? No, no one's in second. Okay, so we got a good enough lead. Let's just continue on. All right, guys, lap 40. Uh, I think pit stops have fully cycled. Kurt Busch is in second. I do remember him being behind us. So let's now go see where Dale Jarrett is. Uh, he is way back, still in 22nd. So that is good. We are extended. Uh, at this rate, we could get that lead back to 100 points, above 100 points, which at the end of the video, that's what I said I wanted. Um, the, you know, the last race kind of still leaves a little sour taste in my mouth. But if we can get uh, over a 100-point lead heading into the final four, I, like I said, I feel confident in that. So uh, this would be a good result. Hopefully, Jarrett doesn't make up too many spots. Uh, he has a lot of guys he can pass, you know, so hopefully he doesn't make up too many spots here in the last eight laps. I am not going to make any attempt to pass Gordon here. Uh, we're going to sit in this little gap, and we're going to take our victory. That's all. We don't need to do any more risk. We don't need to do anything because Kurt Busch and Dale Jr. are nowhere near us, so we don't have any battles to fight. So, uh, yep, three to go. Let's win this thing. Final corner on the final lap. Job is done. We did our job, lads. Uh, after the sad Lowe's result, we got a win at Martinsville. Jarrett should be pretty far back. Uh, did second place come across the line at all? No? No? Okay. So that's it. Uh, I'm not going to celebrate. Sorry, crowd. I'm not in the mood. Oh, boy. What a race. All right. Let's go see who the lead is. Whoa. 13th race win. Beautiful scenes. We tie Gordon's 2000, oh, 1998 record not even a record but 1998 win total in the season yay everyone clap everyone clap woo beautiful yeah point out yeah yeah okay who cares um we have more important matters to care about did dale jarrett finish in the top 10 that's the first order of business no oh wow we lapped all the way up to seventh that's nice okay um so we got 185 points um that's good now let's go see where jarrett finished 21st that is beautiful that is great so net result we did make more points uh, than him over the last two races he gets 100 we get 185 uh 85 plus 31 
and you will get the points gap, which is 116. That should be the points gap, and I will take that. It's, again, not ideal, but we uh, he, he finished in 21st. We, we got to... I don't think we can ask for much more than that, right? So uh, let's go check to make sure that we are right here, and it is. It is 116 points with the final four races. So in the end, we do have the goal achieved of a 100-point gap before the final four races. Now, here's the final four races. If we can top 10 our way through these races, we will win the championship. Um, it just depends on whether we're going to be able to do it or not. Obviously, Phoenix has the turn two exit, which the, the wall sticks out. That's what wrecked me last time we were there, so be careful there. Atlanta, we're not very good. That, that's very widely known. And also, Atlanta is a track where you can't block because they'll pass you on either side. So we're not going to be able to do very well there. North Carolina, I think we can do well. Uh, I think we can get a top five here. So that would be very good. And Phoenix, I have a, a, as long as we don't wreck, I have a good feeling about it. Homestead, obviously, terrible, terrible, terrible feeling. But it's really Atlanta and Homestead that are going to be the worst races for us. And then we'll try to do something in North Carolina and Phoenix. 116 points, guys. If someone can help me do the math there, exactly what, what is a 116 point gap? So I just got 85 points. Jarrett finished 22nd, but I led the, the most laps. So technically, it's 75 point difference between 1st and 21st. So 116 points would be what? Like 1st and 30th? Is that like the, the, the difference in 116 points? Uh, throw in the factor of bonus points and all that. It gets really confusing when you're trying to figure out where do I need to finish and all that. But uh, we don't got to worry about that until the final race of the season. Guys, I will see you guys tomorrow for another NASCAR Thunder 2003 video. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Watch some good old football. Watch some football. And uh, I, there is actually a Netflix show that I need to stream uh, that came out. Season 3 came out um, today, so I got to watch that. So, Oh, and I got a Nintendo Switch as well, in case anyone's wondering. So I want to play my, my Switch. You guys probably weren't wondering. Take care of yourselves. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if not already. And uh, I need to rest. My brain is fried. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.